What's up, family? What's up? What's up? I figured I would come. It's kind of it's late night, but I thought I would come to say something because it just was on my mind. The world needs to hear it. That's why I'm here. It's my job. So when these things come, I'm going to record them and bring them to your attention. I got a headache right now as well. It's on the side of my temple. It's like a, it's a tension headache where, honestly, I've been stressing and thinking too much lately. And I'm trying to get over that, release that, <clears throat> not be so caught up in thought. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but what I mean is be more in this state of flow and just live as each second comes. That's why I chose to make this video right now, even though my head does hurt and I kind of feel like I probably should just continue to rest, but. Like I said, uh, I have to do this kind of stuff. And that's what part was on my mind. There is a this thing happening on the planet right now that I talk about a lot in different videos. It's a... It's a reaction to things that man has caused on this planet himself. The reaction is that things can go only so far. So much destruction and problems can be built by man in his mind. And it's not that you're doing it or we're doing it, but man has created this system and we've continued living in it and feeding it and serving it and feeding off of it and being fed off of by it. And that doesn't last. It just does not. <clears throat> that is the most wonderful part about it. That's why when you see people in comments saying, I just don't know how this is going to get better. How are we ever going to change things or how is it that we even do this or you'll see them say stuff like oh that's going to take forever because the people i know it's it's never going to come across their minds to want to change that's why well we don't we don't have to worry i know many think we do because we've been trained to think that life is this thing that we we have to control every step of the way and in a way yes we control a whole lot of it and that's why we have this destruction like i said coming from the human mind is what what has been created on this earth to cause all this havoc and wild stuff happening. But, but in the same way, there is something in the background, or you could say in the foreground or all around, that is divine. And it's a force that does not allow for this to last. And I don't mean something in the way of like, scary doomsday last i mean these cycles that change along the way do not allow for these things to last they change us internally change within our mind we can get deep into it 
and the things that are changing us are literally those celestial bodies that are floating around in the in the atmosphere out there the planets they will in energies to us allowing us to enact certain things you could say completely without our our aware knowledge to it this is why we hear about the the oh it's a full moon the crazies are out well think about this why would there be crazy people out during a full moon this is a certain type of energy being sent to us during a certain celestial activity or a celestial occurrence and it's not just the moon that affects us it's each one of these planets and each one sends a different type of energy it kind of sucks that the word energy is kind of got it's got this bad connotation to it where people that don't hold the knowledge of this kind of thing when they hear it they automatically think oh that's weird that's some strange goofy stuff that's weird witchcraft stuff. When if they just cared to look into it a little bit, they would notice that very powerful people, I've talked about this before a bunch, J.P. Morgan always said, millionaires don't use astrology, billionaires do. The everyday person just doesn't look this far into things. They're happy with the regular everyday environment as far as them being able to control what they control and them being happy with their minds thinking that they are controlling everything. Their ego telling them, you're in control. You have the power. Don't worry. You don't have to feel scared because you're, you're strong in this. Nothing of outside influence affects you. when that that's far from the case so as of right now there are people on this planet that are you could say fighting except it's not the traditional sense of that word they're not out here to harm anyone but they're here to cause destruction in a way and not in the traditional sense, once again. Destruction of this, this system that has been running for so many years now. We are on the planet to break that system down. And like I said, it's so wonderful because this isn't something that that we have to destroy nature. It might have been a part of human nature to want to create these types of things, but that's why the cycles play out. We are here to destroy old ways and old cycles to bring in a new way of living, which is not new at all. Which ancients, ancient cultures, tribes, and beings of this planet have known this way that we are going to be bringing in. And they have known that this occurrence would happen for many years. And I'm sure they've been waiting, anticipating this beautiful time. Allowing that knowledge to be passed down through family members and family members, letting them know that don't worry, there will be a time when the when the cycles change again. And you'll hear 
it will usher in a new era. We just happen to be at that point. I know people can feel the the feeling of things have been getting worse and worse and worse. I don't like to think into that part because I feel like it's not even necessary. We're going to see life do whatever it does regardless. The point is that we are coming to that breaking point For the people on the planet's level of consciousness is rising. And with that, they recognize an interconnectedness of each and every being on this planet. And as well as beings within other planetary systems. This will be a part of it. This is why there were ancient cultures that knew that things came from other star systems to talk with them, to help them. But we went through time and the cycles changed and it caused a separation in that, in that knowing and in that connection with those other beings. And it changed human life up. We looked at it for so long like human life is just growing and expanding and crazy areas and ways. We're coming up with all kinds of technology. But when you would ask ancient cultures that lived and they knew of the true way of living, they look at it like we have reached our demise. I think that's the right word. Like we're coming to a point where we're not growing. We're in a way growing backwards from what we're truly supposed to be on this planet. The most beautiful part is we're getting to live through that change and we're going to get to see the change from a system that man has created <clears throat> to real growth where we may still be able to keep wonderful advancements from this from this, what you could call growth, from man's understanding over this past cycle. But we're going to change it into a new way of being, where we are once again noticing that interconnectedness and living within it the correct way. And the people that are here right now to help usher in this change they're the ones that hold this compassion and this love and this powerful care that, that many people don't know. They're afraid of. They're, they're afraid of bringing outside of themselves. They know it deep down. But I say they don't know it because they have kept it so under wraps and so pushed down for so long because they are afraid to use that in this system or this world we've been living in. It makes you look weak or you're a sissy or you're whatever. But we're here now to, to use this and show people the love once again. That love mixed with the knowledge of the interconnectedness of every single thing here. This is what breaks down those systems. 
me coming on here and talking about this kind of stuff and in 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 a way you could say enlightening or not not like true enlightenment but guiding those to light and this knowledge and understanding of this and in and in a way they'll gradually appreciate it a little at a time there will be some people that click off of the video some people that have heard this for the first time and are super interested in it some that are hearing it for the first time and they may not know how to feel about it but it kind of intrigues them others that know what i'm speaking about and it's building like a snowball effect inside them so so this causes them to want to speak about it more in their own crowds causing like i talk about a ripple effect Man, I got a headache. Sheesh, bud. We're at a beautiful point in time on the planet. Regardless of what you think you see on the news and in the, in the general atmosphere of our lives, Consciousness is waking up, and I'm seeing it within all types of people. And these are the building blocks, or these are the domino effects that continue to cause another one to hit another, to hit another, to hit another, and continue this fall. I don't want you to think about this in a negative way, or think about it in some kind of destroying, or destruction, or fall. If you want to think about anything falling, you think about the most negative aspects of this life that you think do not need to be any longer. And think about those are the things that will crumble and fall. The tower moments. Those are the towers that are here that we cause to fall. A little bit at a, a little bit at a time. And in the same way you hear about exponential growth, a little bit at a time eventually turns into a whole lot really fast. And then that's when the change really starts to happen. It's been it's been a little bit of change for a long time. But I believe we're starting to see what you could almost consider the base of that almost exponential growth. Last year, I started noticing on Instagram the amount of spirituality posts changing where I had one account that it did not follow anything like that on. And then I had the, another account. You know how you can switch through multiple. And I use this as like a test. Because for a while I just stopped looking at one. And I switched over. And I noticed how the old account, the old account started having post pop up speaking about everything you could th i mean universal laws and uh just spiritual memes and spirit spirit guides and tarot and i knew at that point that that was a that was a sign of that domino effect that was a sign to me showing me the age of aquarius that's what this age is about, the change.
there will be people here that resonate with this and know that you're here on this planet right now to help usher in that change. And everybody's here to do it in their own natural way. If you feel called to that, like that's, you'll know. You'll feel like you're literally being called, like there's some kind of bat signal in the sky or something, like you're Batman or something. Within your mind, you'll start to gain some kind of knowing as to how you should do that and how you should go about it. This message is for y'all. That, that you're here, and it might be tough, but you've got the power inside. You've went through the things in your day-to-day -day life that built you to the point where you were able to, to handle this type of work. And it's not like it's going to be you're going to war or something. But like I said, everybody's going to do it in their own individual ways. Some will be speaking it, some will be showing it, some will be writing it. Some will be teaching it, some will be all different types of levels. It needs to be this way. There is someone for someone else that needs it in every aspect of this life. It makes me think of this immediately of this person that I love so much that when I seen him come out on the scene, I knew why he was here, automatic. And this is going to be strange and like off in left field, but he, I've, well, I've actually, I might have shown y'all, you, you might have seen before, if you follow me on like TikTok or Instagram, you'll know his name is Crit Mac. And I've, I've made his, I've carved him in, wood before because I like making certain people that I feel like are icon iconic and then I will make them into wooden figures. This is one of the frog gods that I've created because frogs are just like a part of me. They're very important to me. They're like my spirit guides. I've made Critmac in a same way like that, but he is here on this planet for a reason. Like I said, there are certain people that need to be a certain style of human to bring off information to another certain style of human. Critmac was in like the gang lifestyle, in and out of jail. A lifestyle that many people would just not be able to understand or fathom. That doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with that if you do not understand or fathom it. It's just a totally different lifestyle than yours. And he's here to be able to give that knowledge, letting it flow through him and out of him to those in his group of people, in his atmosphere whether it's in the jails or in his neighborhood, in his gang lifestyle, whatever it is, he's able to bring it to them and relay the message in a certain way where they appreciate it. There are certain people, it seems like, that people want to take messages from, and those same people could not want to hear those same messages if it was coming from someone that they didn't want to hear it from, in a way. It's like their mind doesn't appreciate hearing it from a certain vibrational level, or a if it's not a match, it's not a match. It doesn't, it just doesn't work. The person doesn't know how to take it in from a certain type of person. This is why I talk about pineapple on pizza and stuff like that. Like there's going to be your certain groups of people that you fit in and you appreciate the things that they speak about. It's in the same way. In the grand scheme of things, there needs to be some people in all walks of life 
bringing this know-how and this message, this power. Like I said, when the first time I saw Crip Mac, I knew. I could hear it in his words. I saw it in his actions. To see a person like him and knowing what that lifestyle is like, how rough and tough it is, but to hear how the way he spoke, even though he was as rough and tough as the atmosphere seemed like it would be, I knew he was there to shine light in a place where people wouldn't want to hear the message from nobody else except a person like him that fit the, the atmosphere that was rough and tough and could speak it in a certain way where they would appreciate it. That's what's so beautiful about this cycle. There's people, like I said, in every walk of life, whether whatever culture they're from, whether whatever type of background they grew up in, whatever age, we know how the human is. The human just doesn't want to appreciate certain things from certain people ages sometimes from certain backgrounds certain cultures all types of things some people are open and appreciate life as it is and those people are the ones to help bring life back into this world again i've always appreciated every single walk of life you could think of every culture every facet of life i just like things that are different. I appreciate everything. I want to see the difference in between it all. I don't want to see the same style. It's honestly boring to me to see the same thing, the same type of person, hear the same type of words, the same type of action, the same type of fashion, the same... It gets old. So I always knew I was here to help in some type of way because I could fit in and feel comfortable with anything and everything, anyone and everyone. And I could appreciate their cultures or their lifestyles or whatever. If you're like that, you'll know. And you're here to be able to walk this path and bring in this new age. And you might be triggering to people. And this is because you're bringing in a new age. And there's going to be resistance and change. This is 30 minutes right here. I think I'm going to call it. I feel like my headache. I don't know if it's getting any better. I keep trying to like rub the side of my head to make it ease up. But <laughs> felt like I had to talk about this though. It was on my mind, and like I said, it's something I have to bring your way as it comes to me. So family, I hope you all have such a beautiful night or day or morning. If you're new here, my name is Macaulay Sage. This is the frog from the frog gods. He sends love and wisdom as well with me at all times. I'll be back very soon, family, to bring out more of this empowerment and, and knowledge along the way and guidance as, as I come across it. Much love, family. I hope you all have a great night.